Okay, welcome back. Uh, so, let's just jump right into it. Um, we're not jumping into that. We are buying armor. We have armor now. Carapace armor just unlocked. Um, in the last episode. So now, let's uh, go ahead and, you know, get our squad suited up. Five of them there, because uh, we can't get a squad site updated just yet. We got some extra money, that's cool. Let's start scanning. Yeah. That is where we will hold the aliens. Right in our secret headquarters, we will hold the psychics and aliens. Nothing could go wrong. And much more interesting, the genetics lab. So now we can alter our soldiers genetically using meld and money. And right after that, we have the cybernetics lab. So I've been thinking about it. I've been trying to figure out who should become our mech soldier. Who should be the mech soldier? Now, this is actually kind of a problem for me because my plan originally was to make Terry my uh, my mech soldier and have Kylie be the assault that we have on the missions. However, a, a weird problem. Uh, Terry is just too good as an assault. He, uh... The, the skills that he's getting are just so perfect for an assault in this randomly generated nonsense that I don't want to not have him as an assault. Like, he's just too too well, like, perfect yet so far with his abilities. The abilities are too good. So, unfortunately, Terry, you're too good at your job, so you're not getting promoted. Uh, my next up would be either Chris or Eric, um, based on their aim percentage. However... Um, I think I need that aim percentage on something that, because it's based on the weapon um, that I'm kind of thinking. I'd rather have my support have really high aim because the mech is already going to have high aim and the mech is going to be more tanky, so it has a higher chance of being up close for those better shots while we don't want Chris to just run in there and get shot to death. That's Terry's job. <laughs> so, uh, So no to him. Eric is an obvious out because of his ability to be able to be our, our healer, which, you know, once again, you're good at your job, buddy, sorry. So, uh, I'm, my only, I'm the only sniper here. We have a backup sniper, um, but based on the aim chance, unfortunately, Josh may not get to play because uh, his aim is pretty low there. So, I'm out. That means that we are down to Julie's. Her name is ironically Axel, uh, as the nickname the game chose for her. So, I think we all know um, what that means. Let's go ahead and jump over to soldiers who engineering and augment soldiers. Sacrifice much. And Jolice. Did I buy five armor or six? I really hope I bought five because I don't need six. Specialty to the cyber suits operation. With this facility. We'll be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cyber suits, or mechs, and implant our soldiers through the cyber interfaces just... they'll need to deploy these not... mechs onto the battlefield. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Okay. Depending on who you choose to be the uh, the soldier, it'll change this ability. I was originally wanting to go with an assault because the assault has this damage reduction. Um, so if they get right up on somebody and they get hit, it only, they only, uh, it reduces it by 33%. Uh, or no, wait, the damage received from the enemies within four tiles is reduced by, th yeah, so only, you know, 67% or so, I guess, hits, uh, hits, per hits the mech soldier. But, that is perfectly fine, because this one will actually boost our allies, um, to give more of that tanky bonus to our allies. So, if, even if she's not the one getting shot at, there's a bonus in there. And, for the other reasons we've already s explained, I'm going to shut up and let this happen. We'll consult with Dr. Valen for I completely forgot that it's going to take a little bit. The cyber suit interfaces oh, as soon Dr. As Shin, just stop talking. Uh, we're also going to go check we've out... We've assembled everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. 
Okay, I was gonna start spelling shut up. My point Thanks for talking. Okay. I need to get that muscle fiber density. Um, this will allow before. me to jump up in, um, up to high places without needing the ladder. This the helps the ability to get up high so I can um, get a, a boost the genetics lab on uh, by height advantage based on Aim at 5% critical chance. Um, uh, every time. Yeah, okay. So we want to get me up high and to give me that aim bo bonus when I'm above. Um, so let's confirm these gene implants. They should put me out for six days because it's two implants. I'll have the selected volunteer yeah. sent to uh, We're kind of knocking out all of our best soldiers, not best soldiers here, but we're knocking out complete, our main squad. Directly. Well, I'd say that, that that's our best soldiers, our, our top six are our best soldiers. We knocked out two of six. Um, we also, <laughs> Santa is just such a great nickname. Um, we also want to go ahead and do... Uh, well, I was thinking, aim after miss, heal while in combat, just automatically. The bioelectric skin would be good for an assault, because they can get up close. Um, however, there's a gene mod that comes later that allows the soldiers to actually go invisible. In I think that, that would be more important than how. We'll so sit on it for now and go ahead and start human... scanning. If she would just stop talking. I'm sorry I keep talking over them, but Commander, they just talk picked today. Up multiple requests for assistance. Okay. And progress are marked on the so four scientists or heavy. I don't want another heavy. Um, but this is very difficult. Oh man. Well, time to put my money where my mouth is. Panic's the same for both of these, so either one's fine. France or Australia? Let's see real fast. Based on this. France and Australia. Uh, that's the one I already have the bonus for. I don't know if I lose the country now, if I lose the bonus. I'm pretty sure I do. But either way, um, that bonus isn't coming anytime soon. Um, so it's not really a bonus either way there. Okay. We want the four scientists. Let's go to France. Okay, so do we have our squad? No, not exactly. Everybody go away, make everything available. Ah, uh, that's right. Because I'm in the gene lab. I just talked about this. If I would just listen to myself once in a while, maybe something good would come of it. I'm not sure. Terry, Terry, and I guess we can go ahead and grab, um, it's a very difficult mission, and two of our higher ranked soldiers are out of it. That is beautiful. We don't want another salt on this mission. Let's get, well, what's your aim percentage? 67 versus a 70. Ah, alright, sorry, Riley wins by one. And beef everybody up. Okay. Can I just... Why would you show me this? I want you to show me the ones that they have. Um, that's getting ridiculous. Alright. Get some better armor. That's right! Okay, I'm feeling better about this now. Um, Kylie get a scope. I know she's an assault, but she can use the laser rifle just the same. Um... Have a med kit. Get Eric loaded out with the med kit. Probably gonna need it this time. Terry, you better gun for you, bro. Uh, you should be fine. Chris gets his armor. Okay. So that looks right, except for, do we want Terry to have a shotgun on this mission? We do, because there may be chrysalids and that may come in handy, as well as that grenade can come in handy. I think this is our best bet, because um, it's very difficult 
we don't want to screw around with like trying to capture anyone. Let's go for the kill. Just make sure we clean it up. So we're gonna go with grenades over saving their corpses. Not cost effective, but saving our people's lives is a pretty cost effective thing to do, I would say. Strike one. Prepare. Neutralize all France targets. Is an urgent mission request. This map is we're not friendly, if I remember correctly. Oh no, this map is not friendly. Okay. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Okay, now look, look at that. The map curves right there. Just to... Okay. Sorry. Okay, so there's this little house here, and then there's some, some canisters here. This map goes out, and it'll wrap around into like, this big square. Um, let's get Chris on point. Position confirmed. Visual on the goods. I thought he'd find somebody there. Let's get, let's get Santa over there. Got something over here. Now you see some. Okay. Just lurker or lurkers? Oh, this I don't know. Whatever. The huggers. This would be the one case where bioelectric skin would be really nice to have. Um, because they're just huggers. Let's just go ahead and get an overwatch. Heading out. Let them pop out and get shot at. That's affirmative. Hopefully one at a time. And hopefully not on Eric. Just because he'd be the furthest out there. But did they go inside? What a strange thing to do. To do. Um, all right then, Roger that. move up. I would really like to deal with the current Moving threat out. before finding the next threat. I also really want that meld canister. In sight. Engage it. Yeah, game of fast words, right? I wouldn't even budge, he's just like, get you. Okay, well that's fine. Um, we can do a thing on my way. Here, Overwatch, and then Just go in here. It's okay. not gonna be very useful, but and you stay here. Once again, worrying about the huggers. I hate that I can't move you. Good. Okay, only one more left. And then only procted two of the overwatches, so that's good. Oh, don't glitch out! Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you too, for running away. I greatly appreciate that. Eric, you get to fight another day. Do something dumb. Okay, good. Didn't get it. And then just um. Hmm. Run back to here. Let's get Chris back you up. I'm on it, Commander. Should use a smoke grenade. Right, Commander. Now thinking that through a little bit. in case they come running around this corner. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> well, he can still try with the the shotgun. Actually, yeah, if they come around the corner, he can probably get it. Oh, I gotta remember I can move Terry into half cover and still work fine. So there are three thin men over here, just, just chilling. I'm used to them being more aggressive. No, actually, I'm used to them going on Overwatch. Which is probably what they're doing. Which is, um... A little Moving scary. Hey, you weren't on Overwatch. 
Sorry, neutralized. So maybe they're just dumb this time? I shouldn't, like, rely on that, but on I definitely way. wouldn't mind it. Um, let's just get Moving you in here, station. just to look. Okay, I'm separating my squad up a little bit too much with one of those stupid there now. huggers out there. But I think we're fine. I'm on the move. There should at least be one person covering whoever gets grabbed. Yep, one person. Perfect. No longer have to worry about that. So, we're gonna play this one a little slow and methodical. Um, it's very important that everyone stays up, considering they have to go down anyway, due to, um... Going into, like, game mods and stuff. But once everyone gets up and running, then... Then we'll have a chance here. Um, where's... Is that Tori? That was Tori, okay. Chris is good, Kylie, Eric. Let's get Eric okay. another shot. Nope, you don't get another shot. Alright. Terry, can you make that shot? 87% chance. Yeah. Mission over, good job, very difficult. No? Okay. I'm on the move. So at least we know this area is clear. Ready to engage. Heading there now. Reloading. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. Moving out. Please don't see anybody. Thank you. Let's rock. Try and get everybody back together. Moving. And reloaded. We're green to go. Headed there now. I'm ready. Roger that. Oh, you're already fully loaded, so just go ahead and further up. Alright, so here's the thing. So now we can go left or we can go right here. Um, I almost never go this way, just because it's all low cover and easily flinkable. Kind of obvious there. I'm on Obviously you shouldn't go that way. But there's one more path. Okay, two floaters, six, five floaters, five floaters. I can count. Believe me. Okay, so fine. Five floaters, the other way was well, going to be this way. You go in that direction. You can go that way. Or you can go this way. Either way, you are not in a good spot, buddy. You can definitely kill that one. Um, what are your chances? 31% chance. Not that good. Um, it's actually preferable I'm on the move. to just run back and overwatch. How back can you run? Um, can't get there, obviously. But this would be better than where you are now. Even though there's a shot in Overwatch. Aye, aye. Uh, let's get Terry up here. And we can just move him up further. It's not going to be a point to an Overwatch back there. And then Kylie is gonna overwatch. Yeah. Kinda wishing I had to use a smoke grenade from somebody. But I think it's okay. They didn't attack. Why didn't you attack? Bye -bye. Why are they all, all being I'm so rolling. non aggressive? Don't worry, I'll be aggressive for you if you want me to. That's affirmative. There we go. Hostiles pacified. And 
That's affirmative. We'll have Kylie back up Terry. Oh, yep, here's the shot. They're trying to pull back. Or not? You just ran up there to yell at Terry and then run away. Like you fiend and then just run off. Ah! Did not see that coming. Very well played. That could have killed him. Okay. So that's not good. But Yep. This is how we respond. It only did three damage to all of them. Why did I not count that? Well, kill that one. We definitely can't let them live. And now Eric's got to back up. Moving out. And then please take care of that one. Kill confirmed. And then. Kill it? Yeah, that's revenge right there. Another one down. And that was it. Okay, work, yeah, Amanda. very difficult. Um, the floaters were... No, that wasn't very difficult. Uh, the floaters were clever. I hadn't seen that move before. But, um... Yeah, okay, so they're trying to bait me out. Now you can see that I'm, I'm rushing a little bit, I guess. Clever, clever. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. As reaction shots trigger on enemies' attack, not just their movement. Reduces all normal damage taken by two if in cover and not flanked. Well, that's kind of cool. So she just doesn't get hurt as much. As long as she is behind cover. That that one would be good because you, whenever you overwatch but the person can already see you, they can just take the shot and doesn't do anything. It's only when they move that you go overwatch shoot them. But this means whenever they shoot that, you'll, that she would shoot back. But I like the will to survive a little better. Makes her a little bit more tanky. Right? Um, covering fire. This is all normal damage taken by two. That could save her life. But, covering fire would be really good. I'm so indecisive, because these are so random. That This is not normal corporal level support stuff. Um... I think that if this is both support stuff, but it's not corporal level. Um, now, Spraken Shot taken on enemy attack, not just movement. That could be so useful. Um, because... I'm going to take this one. Because that means even when they shoot at somebody else, she could still take the shot. I'd rather have her in Overwatch taking the shot than... Just... Because it, if it... It was going to kill her by 2 damage, it was probably going to kill her either way in late game. Wow, they really like this Deep Pockets one. Um, these items get twice as many uses, or take 2 shots against a single target. Oh, obviously Rapid Fire. That's actually an assault level attack that's really useful. Um, usually there's an, a, there's an assault level where... Um, quick reflexes, where you can just... Um, the first reaction shot taken doesn't hit, which is really useful, but unfortunately it's not playing out. But this one means that if for negative 15 penalty to aim, he gets two shots in one turn on the same enemy as opposed to just one. So we can run and gun him, so we dash up to the person and then shoot twice, take him out. So definitely a strong strong attack here. And it's a small world for us. Look at that. Who, who got hurt there? Somebody got, oh, Terry got hurt. For how long? Not at all. That's right, because it all went into the armor. Because his base health didn't get hit. Look at that. And that's why you bought the armor. And this one, 2 plus will. I could go to anyone other than Terry, because he's already got it. And Julie, she's in the cybernetics lab. Let's go with increasing the will of Eric. I like that plan. Good job, soldier. That's for um, the different nationalities in our squad. How, how, um, 
Melting Pot are our squad leaders. Well, Terry and Eric screwed it up. <laughs> Actually, no, we screwed it up kind of bad. So, okay, well, Jaleese and I are from different places, and then Terry and Chris, so that's four of the six are different. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we don't have anything new really to buy right now. Um, we could augment our soldiers. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits um, to work in the lab. With the adaptive bone marrow, so it reduces their wound recovery time is reduced, and they regenerate two HP per turn, up to the HP max without armor, so up to like four health. That's not that great. Okay, well, we'll just save it for now. Um, I think that's it, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all next time.